Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams. I'm very excited today to come to you with my March book haul. This is a much smaller book haul than sometimes I've had and I have a handful of things that I've purchased myself and a handful of things that were sent to me and I cannot wait to share them with you. <laughs> First I'm going to start off with the books that I picked up when I was on my middle grade March retreat if you will at the beginning of the month when Katie and Amanda and I spent a weekend together and we got to see Jenna as well and a little breakfast with Sarah from Sarah's nightstand as well. It was just such a fun weekend and I did pick up a few books from that trip. At a Goodwill I found Hairpin, Hairpin Bridge by Taylor Adams. I enjoyed No Exit even though it's not a typical Krista book at all. It was a very compelling read. It was a little more gruesome than I would like but it was a fun just for something different type of a read. So I'm interested in reading another thriller by Taylor Adams. I don't know anything about it and that's kind of how I like to go into thrillers so I'm not going to read the back at all. I just know that I've read that author and I liked his other work so why not give another one a try. I also picked up these two books from Jenna's library where she works. They had a sale shelf and these were each only a dollar and I think I'm going to use them probably as a gift but it's it, devotional books, indescribable and how great is our God and they're kind of devotions about God and science. Oh and they're put together by Louis Giglio both of them and they're gorgeous devotional books. The illustrations are phenomenal and there's each each day there's a science fact and how that relates to God as our creator and the creator of the universe and I just think these are super interesting and just a cool way to have devotions especially if if a kid is interested in science. They were in perfect condition. I could not resist bringing those home. At a couple used bookstores we stopped at, I picked up this Regency era romance. It's a proper romance by Sarah M. Eden, The Lady and the Highwayman. This is Victorian, not Regency. A Victorian romance that pits author against author. So these two authors are going to kind of go head to head. Elizabeth Black is the headmistress of a girls school and a well-respected author of Silver Fork novels, which are stories written both for and about the upper class ladies of Victorian society. But by night she writes very different kinds of stories, the penny dreadfuls that are all the rage among the working class men, under the pseudonym Mr. King. Elizabeth has written about a dashing heroes fighting supernatural threats and dangerous outlaws romancing helpless women. They contain all the adventure and mystery that her real life lacks. Enter Fletcher Walker, who began life as a street urchin, but is now the most successful author in the Penny Dreadful market until Mr. King started taking all of his readers and his profits. So these two authors are going to go head to head. I think that sounds delightful. <laughs> I have a Jacqueline Winspear book. This is in the Maisie Dobbs series and Incomplete Revenge. Whenever I find these, I grab them because... I do want to read through this series. This is book, whoa. I mean, it's way down. It's way down in the list, um, but I have it. So it was only three bucks. Couldn't resist. And then Amanda found this one and knew I would want it. This is called March Forward Girl. This is by Melba Patillo Beals, who is the author of Warriors Don't Cry, which is her memoir about the Little Rock desegregation of schools. She, Melba Patillo Beals, was one of the Little Rock Nine. And this is a prequel to that story. So it's her as a younger girl and her family and life in Little Rock, Arkansas. I absolutely loved Warriors Don't Cry, even though it was a very difficult read. I loved learning about Melba and her family and the other eight students who had to endure incredible amounts of abuse and torture and bullying to the ninth degree, like beyond bullying. It was just horrible what they had to experience that year at Central High School from not only other students, but from teachers and the government as well. Like it just was awful. So I'm, I'm very curious to learn more about her life as a younger girl, March Forward girl. I think that's going to be fantastic. Then I did do an unboxing earlier in March of a box called Between the Bookends. And in that box, I got The Collectors by Jacqueline West, which I've since heard people have read another book by her and really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to that. And also Premeditated Myrtle by Elizabeth C. Bunce, which is a fun mystery that I'm, I've heard good things about. So I'm thrilled to add those two to my middle grade shelf. And then more recently, I was able to meet up with more of my booktube besties, Lindsay and Sarah, as we 
connected in the DC area and went to a used bookstore there and I picked up four books, which I've showed in a vlog, but I'll show them again here. Rami Nightingale by Kate DiCamillo. I've already read, but I want this edition of the three books. It's a trilogy called The Three Rancheros. Rami is the first one and I absolutely love it. This was only $1.95 and it's in perfect condition. So this is one I've already read, but I'm trading out my other one for this one. Another one that I've already read but didn't own is The Wild Robot Escapes by Peter Brown. This is the second. I thought it was just going to be a duology, but I've learned since that there is going to be a third one coming out. And I'm thrilled about that because this is such a fun story. And it has such adorable illustrations. That's not a very exciting one, but it does really have super cute illustrations. And it's just about this robot who finds herself on this island and has to connect with animals and in this one some people as well and so the story is gonna this is this the sequel and then there's a third one coming out soon so i would love to own this series i really enjoyed it they work great for a read aloud with kids that are middle grade readers because i read it to the family i used to watch and they loved it and then i did pick up two that i was not familiar with book scavenger by jennifer chambliss Burtman, a book about books and puzzles and clues and a mystery to figure out I'm I'm down I didn't even need to know much more than that this was also only $1.95 <laughs> and then I did pick up a romance by Minnie Dark called The Lost Love Song and when I showed this in the vlog I did have a couple of you in the comments say that you read it and you liked it and you didn't think that it was very steamy which is perfect so I'm looking forward to this yeah, we follow a concert pianist who writes a beautiful love song for her fiance Ari but then Diana is lost to Ari forever. And so it's Ari's struggle to move on in his life. And music is going to be a big part. It's going to take place in Scotland, but also Australia. And I'm down for that. It sounds really lovely. And then the rest are things that have been sent to me this month. So fun, fun. My mom, <laughs> bless her, um, who's coming to visit soon. And I can't wait till she gets here. But my mom sent me and Jordan a cookbook that is currently at work. I left it there for no gallbladder. It's like the no gallbladder cookbook. So it has recipes for people who no longer have a gallbladder. And that is now a part of our life. So I was looking through that and Jordan will look through it as well. So thanks mom for that cookbook. And then she also sent me a book off my wish list, Bluebird by Genevieve Graham. This was one of Melissa from Libraries and Labradors, one of her favorite reads or her favorite read from 2022. And I'm really excited to read this one. It is uh, 1918 and present day. So a young nurse, a soldier, and the family secret that binds them together for generations to come set during the Great War and post-war prohibition. So I'm excited for that. And I know Melissa loved it. And then my mom also grabbed this off my book wish list as well. It's like a little figurine. You could put a little tea light candle in here. It's just a reader with an open book. It's hard to see. Um, super cute. So thank you, mom, for that little treat that came in the mail. I am really excited to read this middle grade that was sent to me by the author John Tilton. He is a super fun follow on Instagram if you're interested. And he wrote a book called Please Return to the Lands of Luxury. It looks so cute. Oh my goodness. I love that there's like robots, but also this strong, fierce looking girl here. An unexpected treasure, a treacherous journey, a thrilling adventure that will shape her future. So Jane lives on an island of trash. <laughs> what? And even though she has to scavenge garbage and deal with sinister robots, she still loves her home. It's all she's ever experienced from her most cherished memories to her foggy past that she can't quite remember. But when a doll shows up in the latest bunch of garbage, everything changes. Unlike the rest of the junk, the doll is in excellent condition, including its tag, which reads, please return to Gloria Thatcher. Convinced it arrived by accident, Jane vows to return the doll to its rightful owner. There's just one problem. Nobody has left the island before, thanks to the tyrannical robots guarding the docks, a dangerous place with a mysterious history. It sounds like such a fun read. I'm going to probably try to read it in April because it's a new release. It just came out in 2023. So I'm excited to read this one. It sounds different and unique and so much fun. And it also came with a little bookmark. So cute. I love it. Okay, I also received a graphic novel that's about kind of climate change global. This is by Owen Colfer and Andrew Duncan. This was sent to me by Sourcebooks for young readers. Thank you so much for sending me this. In this one, we follow two different 
young people. Sammy and his grandfather live in a village among, along the Indian Ocean. They earn their living by fishing, but the ocean is rising and each day they bring back fewer and fewer fish. And then Yuki lives in the far north of Canada where warming temperatures are melting the ice. Polar bears have less food to hunt and are wandering into town looking for something to eat. Yuki is determined to do something to help. So this is going to be about these two different worlds that are struggling because of some climate change stuff. So I'm, I'm curious about this. It will be an interesting read. I love the art. It's very, not realistic, but it has a very unique art style. But I, I like that we're going to have two such different settings. So the far north of Canada and also this village on the Indian Ocean. So that sounds like it's going to be an interesting graphic novel there. Thanks for sending me that source books. <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. Okay, so Al Cray Jr. has partnered kind of with us this year for Middle Grade March. They have been promoting the Middle Grade March on their on their Instagram and stuff. And Sally would joined us. Sally is the one who runs Alcrate Jr. And she joined us in one of our lives. They're fabulous. And Alcrate is a subscription box, obviously, usually for YA, but the Alcrate Jr. involves middle grade books. And so she offered to send each of us hosts a box to open. I will link Alcrate Jr. down below if you want to want to check them out. This is caution may contain magic. These boxes are so fun. I'm so excited. Okay, every month that you get a box that, that has a theme to it. And the theme for this box is witches in training. And this was the February 2023 box. So let's see, I'm going to start. Okay, the book is down at the bottom. So I'll do that last. But there are some fun treats in here. This is so cute guide to unboxing. If you give two hoots, <laughs> snap, share and read. I love it. Okay. So first we have this. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a little lunchbox. That's cute. I am not an animal person, but I can definitely share this with some of my young friends. It has like the cooling stuff on the inside. Cute little handles. That is a cute little lunchbox. We'll share that for sure. Then we have this Riddles Tea Shop. I'm a big fan of tea. Peppermint and Chocolate Spellorium Anti-Hex Blend, an Owl Crate Junior exclusive. Look how cute that little tea is, and it's loose leaf, loose leaf tea. Peppermint Honeybush Tea, Decaf Sal Salon Tea, Cocoa Nibs, Natural Chocolate Flavor, Natural Cream Flavor, and White Corn Flowers, a decaf tea. Delish. I'll definitely eat that. Then we have this box. I'm not sure what this is. It says Owl Crate on it. Oh, are these coasters? What are these? The greatest secrets are always hidden. These are wooden fairy doors. Oh my goodness, I have to share these with my little friend. She loves this kind of stuff. So these are little fairy doors. This kit includes all the pieces you'll need to build two secret doors. You simply, you supply the glue and the creativity attached to any tree or nook that you think could use a dash of magic. I actually think my little buddy could get into this too. We could decorate them and then go put them on a tree. Oh my word, he would love that. Um, ask permission first. Don't use cement nails or screws to fix them to the trees. That is so cute. Two little fairy tree, fairy doors. Fun. That's cute. Then we have a little journal recipe grimoire. This is just a recipe book. Cute little three ring binder notebook for recipes. Magical Monthly Recipes. Yeah, it's just a recipe book and it has tabbed, blank tabs on the side here so you can label them however you want to. That's cute. That's really cute. Also a gift for my little friend. She's gonna love this stuff. I'm gonna put it in the lunchbox. When's her birthday? Oh, there's more, okay. I have this little envelope. It says Enamel Archives. I'm not sure what this is. Let's see. Get it out. I can't get it out. There we go. Oh, a little pin. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a little pin that says the grace of wild things. Can you see the with a glare? And I will share with you that that's the book. I'm going to take this out of the wrapping in just a second. But then there's also this fun glittery pen, which is going in the bag for my little girls. They will love that. My little buddies. 
and it gives a clue as to the March box, which it's already past March. Now it would be the April box, but the, April, the March one was called Family Ties. That was their theme. The book is wrapped up really nicely in plastic. It's not going to get ruined. Oh my word. Okay, so this is beautiful. It's slightly different colored than the original cover is more green with a yellowy beige writing. This one is more blue with pink writing. And I think, but I think the picture and stuff is very similar. So I'm so excited about this book. This was on my anticipated reads list for this year. And I've already heard from people who've read it that they have loved it. It's sort of an Anne of Green Gables retelling, but it's not a one-to-one -one retelling. It doesn't match up exactly. It's just mostly like inspired by Anne of Green Gables. But we have our Anne character whose name is Grace. And Grace is an orphan who goes out to the woods and finds this witch and she wants the witch to train her and teach her how to use magic. But the witch gives her kind of a condition. She's got to learn all the spells in her grimoire and Grace takes the deal, but it, things don't quite go as planned. I've already, yeah, like I said, heard great things about this book and I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have it now and to read it. It also comes with a little signed book plate, which I'm going to put right in here right now. There's a reader's guide, a note from the author, and then already a recipe that you could put in that recipe book for magic wands. Cute. Pretzel rods, baking chips, glitter. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Oh my word, what a fun box from Owl Crate Jr. Lots of fun treats. I'm keeping the tea and the book, <laughs> and I will pass along some of the other things. But what a fun box to share with young ones in your life or the young at heart, you. <laughs> Thank you so much to Al Cray Jr. and Sally for sending us those boxes. My final thing to share with you today is that I have signed up and been approved to become an affiliate for Once Upon a Book Club. I treated myself at Christmas time to the Once Upon a Book Club 12 Days of Christmas kind of advent-ish type calendar that they had where there was 12 stories and a gift to open within each story. That is what this subscription box does. So in each box, there is a book and then gifts to open with each book. Look at, I opened it up and it has my name. This is my first affiliate box from them. I have purchased two or three boxes already from them and really enjoy them, but I am now a VIP with them. That's what they call it. We're so excited to have you. If you ever have questions, that's where I need to contact them. And there's just some information for me on, on the program itself. I will put information and links down below, a code for you to use, a link for you to use, all that jazz if you're interested in checking out Once Upon a Book Club. This, oh, I'm so excited. So the book that I got for this box is called Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. Look at that cover. I think I need to read this one when I get Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. She loves circus books. This is an addictive novel about power, fame, and a love that is threatened by a terrible secret. Step up, step up. In 1860s England, circus mania is sweeping the nation. Crowds jostle for a glimpse of the lion tamers, the dazzling trapeze artists, and most thrilling of all, the so-called human wonders. When Jasper Jupiter's Circus of Wonders pitches its tent in, poor coast, in a poor coastal town, the life of one young girl changes forever. Sold to the ringmaster as a leopard girl because of the birthmarks that cover her body, Nell is utterly devastated. But as she grows close to the other performers, she finds herself enchanted by the astonishing freedom of the circus and by her own role as the queen of the moon and stars. Her fortune very quickly begins to glitter and with it a chance for Jasper to realize his dreams of world renown. But what happens when her fame eclipses his when even his loyal brother Toby becomes captivated by Nell? A gorgeously wrought exploration of celebrity, power, and belonging. A historical novel unlike any other with unforgettable heroine at its heart. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So along with the book in these boxes comes some packages to open, some presents to open at different parts. So I have this one to open on page 181, this one to open on page 86, I have this one for page 158, and this one, which feels like another book, for page 264. So this has four treats to open. I think that's it for this one. 
yeah, so this has four things to open. And then there's just more information about the package and, the, and how to do it in there. So I'm so excited to be a VIP with Once Upon a Book Club. Again, all the information will be down in the description below. I am very excited for this book <laughs> and, and for this book and for this book and for all of these books. Oh my word, I love book hauls. <laughs> it always makes me so excited to read all the things. My foot is very, very asleep right now. I cannot feel it at all. And so that's gonna be it for me today. I am not gonna try to hold these up for you. I would love to chat with you in the comments below if you saw anything here that's already on your shelves, if you want me to read any of these faster than the others. I will probably share with you in a vlog when I do some of my Once Upon a Book Club books. I've bought quite a few, but I've only done the Christmas ones. I've not re actually read any of the others yet. So I do really want to read those and open the gifts along the way. So hopefully that could be something I can share in a vlog. But let's chat in the comments below. I always love talking with you down there. Thank you so much for watching today. I really, really appreciate you being here. Thank you for those who sent me books and packages and fun things. I look forward to talking with you in another video very soon. Bye.